Hey everyone, in this video I want to have really just a quick public service announcement related to the new Azure AD Connect V2 that I did a video about a couple of weeks ago. As always, if this is useful, please like, subscribe, comment and share and hit that bell icon. But what we talk about is the idea that, remember, we have kind of our on-prem Active Directory. We have that cloud-based Azure AD instance. And we synchronize objects. And the way we synchronize objects is we have this kind of Azure AD Connect component. And that's kind of really mostly in that direction. Um, but there might be some write back, et cetera, et cetera, as well. And what happened was we had this great new V2 version. So we can kind of go from the V1 to the V2. But something we need to be aware of is there is continual investment in these technologies. They release new versions. They're still releasing new versions of the V1, and there are new versions of the V2. And why I kind of wanted to stress this point was if we actually jump over and look at the details, we can see, hey, look, we have this version history available to us. We've got all these links on the side. We can see recently, hey, there was a new version of 1.6, so a V1. And we notice it kind of tells us, hey, look, released for download and auto upgrade. So if I'm running the V1, the main updates, I'm just gonna automatically get deployed to my environment. If I look at the V2, there have been a number of two updates. There's 25.1, 10.0, 9.0, 8.0, the initial 3.0. And what we're gonna see tagged for all of these is to date, they are not available for auto upgrade. And that applies to all of them up to this point. None of them are auto upgrading. So if I have moved to the V2, I need to make sure I'm checking for is there a new version. Um, at least two of the releases so far have had security fixes in them. So I wanna make sure I get those. So really just the point of this video is make sure you are aware if you have gone to V2, to date, it is not auto upgrading. I need to have a process in place for my organization that I'm checking that periodically. I'll start making note in my Azure Weekly Update um, if there is a new version, just to try and help with that. But make sure you're keeping on top of that. And again, the upgrade is very simple. If I've got kind of a single instance, I can just do an in-place upgrade. If I have the idea of maybe I have kind of a staging AAD Connect, obviously one approach is kind of a swing update. I take the staging box, I upgrade that to the V2 new version, then I make this staging, remove staging from this one, I, this now becomes the active production one, then I could go back and update the V2 new onto this one. So I, I can kind of do that swing update approach if I have a staging server. Remember you can have multiple staging servers if you want to, maybe over multiple data centers, but just stay on top of that article, make sure you're tracking, hey, if there is a new version out, see what's in it, and get it deployed into your organization. You don't want to make, you don't want to stay on that first version. I want to at least um, stay current. There is an old upgrading documentation on the Microsoft site. This does apply to V2 to V2 as well. And this document, it talks about, hey, that in-place upgrade approach, and it talks about that swing migration I just mentioned. And again, that does apply V2 to V2. I can use exactly that same swing migration approach that it talks about in the article. I have all the links to these documents in the description below, so you can go and see this document. If you're not sure what version you're currently running, so you go and check the document, and you say, hey, look, there's a new version, what am I running? It's pretty easy to check what I actually have on my Azure AD Connect. If I go and look at my server, here's just a couple of ways. So firstly, I could just go into the old programs and features, and you'll see Azure AD Connect in there, and sure enough, it will show me my current version. So I'm running that newest version. Another approach is to actually start the synchronization service manager. So over here in my Azure AD Connect, I can run the synchronization service. Remember to run it as an administrator. You need to run it elevated. And then within here, I can kind of do help about 
and once again, it's gonna show me my current version. So that's kind of an easy way to check, hey, which one am I running? So I can go and see, hey, look, there's, is there a new version? Do I need to go and upgrade? It really just makes that super simple. So that's it. My only goal of this video was to make sure people were aware it wasn't auto upgrading today. And so just have some process built in to see if there are new versions. If you deployed it very early on, make sure you go and get these new ones because it does have security updates in. And that was it. Uh, until next time, take care.